a boyne is, is a very relaxing place. It's, it's, it's not a sort of heavy pressurised tourist place. Um, it's very relaxing. A good sense of community in a boyne, I would have to say there is. There is something for all generations, yeah. You know, for the kids, there's, there's parks and things for them to do. For the older generation, there's lovely little places to go and sit and have a nice coffee and to have a look at. So there's definitely, definitely something for all age groups, yeah. A Boyne has got so much to offer in terms of outdoors uh, and it's a great community spirit. There's so many clubs here you can participate in from hill walking to curling clubs, uh, mountain biking and so on. And there's, there's an abundance of football teams here, really, really great. I mean they thrive on their football so whenever you're not doing anything Saturday or Sunday, it's really good to head down to the park and watch the teams and just give them your support, you know? And that's the thing about living in an area like this, you have to support the area, you have to really immerse yourself in it and become part of it. And... One of my favourite walks is, is just a local hill, uh, Press and Die. Uh, you can get there to top and, and down in, uh, in a couple of hours. There's proper walks for the proper walkers among the, the people that you can go on. There's, there's an abundance, but we're in Deeside, which is a fabulously, naturally beautiful place, so yeah. The, the area is growing, there are lots of new houses being, being built in this, this area, and, and I think uh, people are now valuing uh, towns like Aboyne, villages like Aboyne in terms of tourism. They like coming to these types of places.